So now we've done the simulation part in Blender, let's get the water into Cinema 4D. So we'll be rendering using Octane, so there's a few tricks to getting a good splash. So let's open it. Right, and on the import settings, this is where it gets a bit funky. So we'll leave this at 30 because I didn't change it in Blender, but um, we want to change it of default to as particle geometry, but for Octane to recognize it, we need it as polygon objects. And then we just poke OK. Again, just save it because it's kind of heavy work, so it could crash. So you can watch it in Cinema 4D to see if it's working. Pretty cool. So we'll set that just to 4D. So what we need to do first is make this smooth. So to do that, we need to find the object, which is the mesh water, and then just turn normals off. And then it makes it nice and smooth. And then you should have control over the font limit on Cinema 4D then. So that's step one. Step two would be texturing, obviously. So for the obstacles, we'll just use a diffuse object and um, diffuse texture. And for this, we'll, for the water, we'll use just a specular texture. Let's just plunk in octane now. So it's already looking pretty cool. So let's create an HDR so we could, we'll be able to see the splashes. Right, so that's that bit done. Um, what we want to do now is we want to get the particles to be recognized by Octane. So to do this, it's quite weird. So we need to create a particle. So let's use a sphere. Squash it down to one centimeter by one centimeter so we can see what's going on. Bring it close to the camera so we can see it. Literally cannot be too big. Point 0.1 centimeters is probably okay. We can knock it down if it's too big as well. Um, I'd advise lowering the segment count as well, just because it's only a splash. Right, so we've got our little particle there, but we're going to turn off the water because it can be quite intense. So we need to create an octane scatter. And in the vertex map, let's pull that out. We want to drop in the spray on the surface and on the vertex. Knock the count down to zero and you can vary these in a bit. So what do we want to scatter? We want to scatter this little sphere that I've just changed to a hexahedron. And then hopefully drop it in. So now you've got this, which obviously looks a bit too big. So you can change the size of this sphere. And you can add a bit of variation so it doesn't look all the same.
And I do advise actually stretching it like this so that it kind of looks more like it's a motion blur splash without actually having to add motion blur. I mean, I still advise it, but it kind of looks cool already. So we've got what kind of looks like a splash. Which is pretty cool. Um, there's a few texture tricks that you can do with this. If you use a fall off map, you can do it so that when it's higher it's more white, so it's more foamy, so it gives you the impression that it's, it's a bigger splash. But I'm not going to go through that in this tutorial. But I will be setting up a Patreon eventually so that if you wanted to learn how to do these more advanced materials, they'll be on there. So we'll, we'll go in to one of our little particles and let's go and see these. And um, we will start with a glossy material, plonk it on the spheres. And what we want to do is we want to do something quite clever to break up that uniform. So we'll use a surface imperfection. We'll use one of ours. So we want something with a bit of variation. It doesn't really matter what it is. So we just use this. Let's plonk this to the side so you can see what's going on. Um, and then we will, depending on how reflective we want the water, we can knock that up a bit. And then what we'll do is just literally use this as an, a little cutter. Little bits cut out of these spheres so they're not so uniformed. Go try and keep it so they've got that highlight because that is does help it add. So when we come out, remember what I said about the fall off. If you know what you're doing, then you can just do it straight away. So you've got that, and it looks kind of like a splash, probably a bit too stretched. Um, I am conscious and I do keep saving because it's quite buggy at the moment because it's quite a lot of data and um, so what else so if we put that back on with our water again you can do this with the foam and the bubbles and change the texture a little bit but it's just showing you how you can get this into Cinema 4D and Octane and start rendering out your simulations so we've got the splash going on now, and then which is pretty cool. So hopefully you found this useful and catch you on the next one.